I want to buy low and sell high, but I also don't want to catch a yeah. falling knife and have these stocks go down another 10%. Right. I mean, I think at this point, Powell is more the problem than the solution. You know, going into this, our base case for 2022 was we will have a recession optically. But now he's throwing everything but through the kitchen sink in order to ensure that we have a deep one. So right now, I think that the calculus has shifted, especially after yesterday's meeting. So the way that we're thinking about it, where do you go with the money? So we think that no matter what the recession um, level is, you know, the, the transformation and technology and the shift to the cloud will persist no matter what. And, and with that in mind, we are looking at companies that are, are facilitating that change. And by the shift to the cloud, we're talking about either uh, on, the, on, the, on the data side uh, for legacy companies um, to the cloud or shifting consumer behavior. And, and we think that there's a reason why Adobe paid yeah. 50 times sales for Figma because it's a platform that defines the future. So we think we're grossing up those positions while increasing our shorts and our hedges to balance things okay, out. I'm going to ask a weird question, I guess, but you, you kind of yeah. got me going with your first comment. I, I posted something <laughs> yesterday in my social LinkedIn and Twitter showing that the Fed's dot plots one year ago showed no more than a 0.75% Fed funds rate. That was a year ago. That was the highest. Now we're at 4.5%. Right. I mean, they, they, they completely whiffed everything. I'm sure Jay Powell's a very nice man, but I do wonder, I do wonder... Can tech stocks not take off? Or maybe, let me ask it this way. If there's a change at the Fed, would that help the markets and big tech? Because some people do wonder how this Fed continues. Yeah. The one thing I'll say about Powell that is that he has an aversion to real-time data. You know, everything is just with a telescope into the past. But that being said, as far as tech, we think that the indices, the broader indices, will not, the, the composites of them will not be able to keep up with the rate of change. So we think that from, from the, for the Qs and, and the S&P, you know, the choppiness will continue and we likely won't see the kind of rebound um, that you want to see off the lows. Um, but that being said, I think if you're surgical about it, pick these cloud first companies, you know, companies we've named like a Snowflake, like, like CrowdStrike in, or like Uber on the, uh, the consumer side. We think those companies... Yep will continue to drive the transformation forward because growth will be scarce during a recession. And, and that, those are the places where the growth will be not only most resilient, but also the room for most multiple expansion. But as far as the broader markets, as your guess is as good as mine with yeah. this Fed. But we do know this, five years after a recession, the S&P 500 tends to double, but you gotta have the stomach to get through the recession first. Mm -hmm. James, good stuff on tech and also the Fed. A lot of people, I heard Jeff Gunlock yesterday on CNBC tell Scott, maybe maybe Powell's not the guy for the job, basically. Thank you very much. He was spot on. Thank there you, you go. All right, thanks, James. Right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.